What's up guys? I have been so bored since all this coronavirus stuff has started. So I found I'm trying to make more time for different hobbies and be more creative. So I've been learning a couple of recipes and one of them is broccoli cheddar cheese soup and I'm really happy with how it came out. I made it yesterday. I liked it so much I am going to make it again today. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how I make mine. Alright so first you just chop up your small onion and you <laughs> You know just let it do its thing you know food processors are amazing <laughs> i am using my instant pot it is like the best invention ever for the kitchen if you guys talk to me about cooking you know i love my instant pot it is pretty amazing cooking made easy so i got my butter in there and i'm turning the settings on to saute um and i'm gonna Throw in my onions and let them saute a bit. <laughs> wow, we, that onion is literally a big mean. You see this? That's a tear. These onions are strong, man. <laughs> my face is so red. <laughs> I have literally been looking around my kitchen and my dining room and everywhere for this glass bowl. And I'm like, did it just stink and disappear? And then I realized that I already had it in the microwave. So, yeah, you melt half a stick of butter in the microwave. And then you mix it with a quarter cup of flour. <laughs> so once your onions start looking like they're starting to brown up a little bit, I am just going to add a little pinch of water just to help them caramelize. And I realize you can actually see nothing because it is very foggy. <laughs> okay, so when you're done mixing it, it should be much thicker and about the consistency that looks like that. So now we're going to move back over to the instant pot be careful it's hot oh man they're burning Blah. okay so i'm gonna wash my instant pot because apparently it's very hard to multitask and vlog about it at the same time <laughs> who knew so normally you don't need to wash your pot in between but mama's the onions were safe they were safe but uh i just don't want it to have a weird burny taste because the bottom of the pan is pretty brown. <laughs> Alright, cooking 101 with jewels. Like a pro. <laughs> Dishes. Don't you just love to do them? It's like the worst part about cooking. Have to clean up afterwards. So what recipes do you guys like to cook frequently? Like I said, normally I don't make the same recipe like twice in a row, but I was really happy how this came out, so I was just really excited to try it again. I gave all the leftovers to my mom so she could try it because she's also a fan of broccoli cheese soup, and it got mom, mom's approval. She just tried it like a few minutes ago at home, so for all you moms out there, it is mom approved soup. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna clean our dish. Guys, can you tell that I'm like super bored from all this coronavirus stuff? I mean, for real. My goodness. Alrighty, so I'm gonna throw this back in my instant pot now that we've recovered from that little mess. <laughs> So I am taking those delicious looking caramelized onions and I'm going to put them back into the Instant Pot. Right now I have it turned off. So nothing is sauteing. Nothing is going to burn. It is safe. For now. Alright, so I got those in the pot. Alright, back in the pot. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is add two cups of chicken broth just dump it right in <laughs> so i just realized that i've been like laughing at the end of like each instruction so just don't mind me i'm just an overly happy person that's just the way i am i'm pouring my second cup of broth and realized that i'm actually a little short so i was like oh what a bummer i gotta open up a new one but thankfully i bought extra Ah. All right, so next I'm just going to add in some spices and spice it up. All right, a little 
little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm just a spice dumper, I don't measure them, so. <laughs> a little bit of nutmeg, don't do it too, too crazy, because I feel like you could go bad if you use too much nutmeg. I don't know if that's true. But I think one time I put too much nutmeg in a quiche and it was weird. <laughs> and garlic powder. You can't really go wrong with garlic powder. Now, I know that there's a lot of people that will probably hate on me for saying that. And be like, you can absolutely go wrong with garlic powder. But like, yo, whatever. Just chew a piece of gum afterwards and it's going to taste amazing. <laughs> it is the best. So, yeah. We dumped our spices in. So now... We're going to throw in some broccoli. I just got the broccoli florets, 16 ounce bag. I'm just gonna dump in the whole thing because veggies are good for you. And this is a veggie that I don't mind. All right. Ah, why are there so many stems? The florets are what makes it good. That's all right. We'll deal with it. All right, no, don't mash it, that's later. Yeah, so just let them sit there. And, all right, just spread them apart. Don't need to mix them in too much. Yeah, and then we put on the lid. I love that it sings to you. Instant pots are cool. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Okay. should not have been that hard. I swear, it's not normally that hard. Okay. All right, so I'm turning on pressure cook. Make sure that it is on high pressure. I'm gonna leave it on for five minutes. And this is the very best part about your Instant Pot, is you get to walk away and just completely ignore it. Don't have to stir it. Yeah, you don't have to do anything really. Just come back in five minutes once it's achieved high pressure. So my Instant Pot just finished pressure cooking, so what I'm going to do is do a quick release of the steam on the Instant Pot. It's not like the loudest thing ever when it's doing a quick release. <laughs> it's so loud and obnoxious. Alright, alright. So now that it's done doing the quick release and it's done being super loud and blowing a lot of steam into the air, we're going to open it up because it is safe to open now. Well, let me show you guys what it looks like inside right now. So that's what it's gonna look like when it's first done. So I have a little potato masher here. I'm just gonna use that and just to mash everything down. That way it gets the tiny little pieces that makes it taste good. So it's not too chunky. Cause I don't think anyone likes super chunky broccoli cheese soup. I don't know. Maybe there's one of you out there that does, but I like mine in tiny bites. So I know right now it doesn't look too appealing. It's just like a bunch of broccoli mush, right? But I promise you, just give it a minute and it's going to taste so much better. It's going to look so much better. So we're going to take this mixture. Remember this from earlier? It was our flour and butter mixture. We're going to dump that and stir it into the pot. That way it kind of helps to thicken everything up a little bit. All right guys, so that helped to kind of like thicken it up a little bit. Now here comes the good part, the cheese and the cream. Guys, this is the real secret sauce of breakfast cheese soup. It's the cheese, but I guess that's not a secret because it's in the name. Well anyways, we're going to dump in our cheese. I'm gonna stir that in really good and give that a chance to melt. Guys, cheese is amazing. It's like literally like the best thing ever. Give that some time, just whip it up real good until things are starting to melt and less, looking less like shredded cheese and more like just a part of the soup. So what I'm doing right now just to kind of help let the cheese melt in a little faster is I just put it on the saute mode right here. Uh, so it doesn't need to be on super long, which is kind of long enough to let everything kind of mix in there well. And now for the creme de la creme, the heavy whipping cream. So I got two cups measured here of heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to pour that right in. And guys, this is what really makes it taste so amazing. I'm telling you, it's this and the cheese. 
crazy good. All right, so we are just gonna stir that right in. Get everything mixed up really well. Check creamy, it's starting to get already. I'm so excited. Guys, I'm so hungry right now. Oh my gosh, it's almost two. Yeah, I'm seriously hungry. Guys, it looks so good. Ah! I'm going to dish some up and try it out and see how it came out. All right, here's what it's looking like. I'll tell you what, guys, I am super happy with how this has come out. All the cheese and broccoli, it's, oh, cheesy, creamy goodness. So if you guys try out this recipe, go ahead and tag me on my social, at Juliana Schnee, and let me know what you guys think. Catch you later.